Joining us now, Seattle radio host Jason Rance. Jason, a lot of it, though, is not just it's the property tax revenue and all the tax revenue that disappears when people leave permanently. My question, which of the cities, Chicago, San Francisco, is the first to go bankrupt? At, at this point, I feel like Chicago is probably going to suffer the most. They just made a decision to go with someone even crazier than Lori Lightfoot. At least in San Francisco, you've got folks who are willing to fight for their city. They said that they were done with Chesa Boudin, the progressive DA. They mm -hmm. said they were done with the progressive school board. So I do think people want San Francisco to succeed, but there always are. there's always going to be this tension between residents and the activists. The activists are small in numbers, generally speaking, but they're very loud. And they're much louder than the folks who live and work in an area. And right now what we're seeing in San Francisco at a time where they're on the brink of an economic collapse, a conversation about reparations for black San Franciscans. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and that would absolutely decimate the city. Can I add something yeah. before you, before Sean um, asks you a question? This is how reckless and stupid those San Franciscans are, and starting with Nancy Pelosi. They built a 1.7-mile central subway, cost $1.95 billion, three times initial estimates. 3,000 people are riding it every day. It is, it is three football fields away from any other transit line, and it is 12 stories underground, and you have to take three escalators to get down to it. That's how stupid they are. Go ahead. Sean, no, you go. No, so, no, well, no you, you well, ask yeah, him. I, 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 so, so, Jason, I always get frustrated <laughs> because, you know what, the, we all complain, they all complain in San Francisco of how bad the government is, but they elected that government. And things yeah. don't seem to change, Jason, until the crime comes from Skid Row and comes into the rich neighborhoods. I mean, disturbing video from the DailyMail.com shows the final moments of Cash App founder Bob Lee, who was stabbed to death in San Francisco. Now even liberals are outraged. Act uh, actress Sarah Foster posting on her Instagram, quote, I'm a registered Democrat and feel confident saying liberal politicians are ruining cities. Is this a wake-up call? Are things going to change, Jason? I generally take the position that for the most part, when we're talking about these kinds of cities, San Francisco, Chicago, Portland, Seattle, an individual has to personally experience yeah. some kind of issue or they have to know someone who does. And yes, a, a tragedy like what happened to Bob Lee is going to move the needle for some, but I don't think that's enough. I think when a parent is walking their kid to their favorite park and all of a sudden it's been taken over by homeless people and there are needles in parks which we've experienced that's when they start to change their minds i wish we didn't have to get to that extent but that's what it feels like at this point because you're right they are the ones constantly putting in the same people or folks who are different but have the exact same viewpoints ideological viewpoints so what you end up doing is you, you get the government that you deserve and this is the government that they deserve right now. And these liberal leaders, though, have lost a connection to the past because it's been decades where these cities were flush with money. I, it, you know, it was the 70s when New York City was run by a beam and it almost fell into bankruptcy. Remember the famous newspaper cover, Ford to New York, drop dead. And then it was 10 years ago that Detroit went bankrupt. But it's been a mm -hmm. long, great run for America's biggest cities. And, San Fran uh, and Chicago's pensions are actually in worse shape than Detroit's were when it filed for, bank filed for Chapter 9 a decade ago. Real quick. Yeah, what's curious here, rather than figure out their spending, they continue to spend more and they keep saying we're just going to tax the rich. But the wealthy end up leaving these cities because they don't feel mm -hmm. safe, nor do they feel appreciated. There's no real ROI. So they're setting themselves up for failure. Mm -hmm. And it's it's sad. It's a slow motion train wreck. Jason Rance, there is so much work for you on the West Coast. You can never stop reporting on the craziness. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Plenty in the East. New yeah. York, Baltimore, <laughs> Washington. Now